The Kimbop obsession continues. I don't really know if this is a normal thing to do, but um, welcome to America. We fry in this bitch. Welcome to America. All right, baby, let's deep fry some kimbap. First, you're gonna get your station set up. You need three bowls. Crack two or three eggs in the first bowl. The second bowl is gonna be regular all-purpose flour, which you are then going to season up however you like. I used some of this Momofuku seasoning salt and a little bit of furikake just to sort of stay on brand with Asian flavors. Mix that all up and your third bowl, this is kind of the most important part. You have to have panko breadcrumbs. That's where you're gonna get that crazy crunch from. Also, I put a little bit of hot sauce in my egg wash. This is your setup. Make sure your eggs are in the middle, the flour is to your right, and the breadcrumbs are to your left. I found this kimbap at Kroger in the frozen food section. I recommend to keep them frozen. They're gonna fry up better that way and hold together. You're gonna go one at a time in the egg wash first, then you're gonna go into the flour. Make sure to shake it off really well. You don't want it too, too thick on there. Then you're gonna go into the egg again. Um, trying to do wet hand, dry hand. It does make your life easier. From there, you're gonna go into the breadcrumbs. You can fry them just like this if you want one coat, but if you want two coats for extra crunch, go back into the egg wash and then back again into the breadcrumbs. These cook up insanely fast. It's about two minutes per side, so I highly recommend to get them all prepped and ready to go at once. That way, when you go to fry, you can just do them all at the same time. You don't wanna be going back and forth trying to fry and prep. Panko breadcrumbs burn super, super easy. So have everything ready to go. You don't wanna be fumbling around the kitchen at the last minute. So off to the side, I had some paper towels ready to blot off the oil and then a cooling rack so they stay nice and crispy. And of course, you need a dipping sauce. Kewpie mayo. Sriracha, one of my favorite things black vinegar. If Asian food had a fry sauce or a mac sauce, it would be this. Delirsh. Let's mother go. The crunch. Dipperoo. People can pick on Americans for deep frying stuff, but YOLO, that's all I gotta say. Hello, mama. Last bite, I'm gonna do my favorite chili oil. So there's two different kinds. There's fried chili in oil. Then there's also spicy chili crisp. And the two of these, believe it or not, they do taste different. This one is the one you want. They're both good, but there's something about this one. As soon as I smell it, I can immediately smell the difference. So go with the fried chili in oil versus the spicy chili crisp. My favorite chili crisp. Oh, dabber doodle in the sauce. Okay, one more. Chili crisp. Extra soybeans. But wait, there's more. Little sliver of ginger. Maybe two. A mouge bouge. If you're a chef and you're trying to like fancy, mm-hmm.